This is simple. A brisket. A chicken. But there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that goes into this food. You have to have real grit to make it, and you have to have real grit to eat it. It's messy food, but you get a wide variety of different people. The fire academy down the street. We have the police academy down the street. So you're never going to get robbed we or burned down. We are the safest <laughs> place in Philadelphia sometimes. When you see the SWAT team sitting there, you feel good. You're feeding the SWAT team in Philly? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're very big supporters of us. I wonder why. I'm Alex Guarnaschelli, and I love a great food story. So I'm hitting the road to meet the people behind some of Philly's most beloved restaurants. This is Fix Me a Plate, Philadelphia. These are the hardest foods to make because every American knows exactly how they want their mac and cheese and their ribs to be. That's why I never make these things. So what are we gonna do here? This has clearly had quite the spa treatment. It's been on the smoker all night, 220 degrees. We're just gonna start shredding it up. And we use a bone in butt because it just comes out better with the bone in it. And you put the briskets and the pork shoulders in the smoker together? Yes. So it's like a, it's like the community of Philadelphia. All it's walks all of life together. enjoy the brotherly love together. It's just so good like that. The chickens aren't the same without the pork fat dripping on them. I fell in love with barbecue when I was younger and couldn't find it up here that was kind of the same as I had when I was in North Carolina. We just love Southern cooking. Now, what is this, this sauce that appeared? So this is our pork sauce, which is a blend of our barbecue sauce, which is kind of a, a traditional sweet, tangy tomato-based sauce. It's half of that and half vinegar sauce, which is more of a North Carolina. Like a white barbecue. Like a white barbecue, yeah. Which is kind of you know, some pepper flakes and different kinds of vinegars. And... So you've mixed two styles of barbecue. So that's why yes. we call it Philly That's barbecue. kind of Philly, yeah. It's North Carolina plus kind of Kansas City. And then we throw a little Italian seasoning in it also, and that kind of Phillyizes it a little bit. I love that. So your <laughs> hybrid sauce with Italian seasoning is how you get your version of Philly barbecue. Right. Yes. Okay, so are we cutting individual ribs? Uh, individual ribs, right between the bones, yeah. Okay. You just let me know if I'm fired at any juncture. It's good to me. Our more. meat is pink. That was one of the obstacles we had in Philadelphia. People seeing pink meat kind of got nervous that it wasn't cooked. it wasn't cooked. Yes. Yeah. And what's the pink from? It's from the smoking, so it's from the wood. It's like a natural preservative. In the early days, people might bring the ribs up and be like, excuse me, but these aren't cooked all the way. They're good. They're falling apart. You can tell. Hours. Yeah, I, ate, I had a birthday in between right. when I put yeah. them in. Now, was this an immediate hit when you opened? Yes. It was, yeah. We bought this food truck um, thinking we we're going to drive it around Philadelphia, and we never moved it out of the parking lot. I mean, do people say, Philly, barbecue, be serious? People from Philly are really into food. I think they really do appreciate it. The reason we picked this area is because my dad's business is next door, mm -hmm. and he said we could park in the lot. Right. Let me get this straight. You're telling me that this restaurant exists because you had free parking? Free parking. Yes. This mac and cheese is really great. Thank you. It's creamy without feeling really heavy. This is very American to me. It is very American. Right? It's very traditional. It's very Southern. This is like the perfect storm of restaurants. It's casual, and yet what you serve is iconic American food. I can't imagine how many times you've watched a customer just slump back in their seat and just <laughs> look at the sky like, wow, right? Yeah, it's nice to see. You're in Philly serving food that's from the South. Yep. Do you get people from North Carolina that say, are you calling this barbecue sauce? Yeah, we never try to say we're authentic Carolina, or authentic that. It's like we just put our own spin on it and take inspiration from places that we really like. And so far, so good. You're the true grit of Philly. Yeah. 